Um, the first thing I'm going to demonstrate is actually I'm going to take a look at something that's quite clean. If you don't have access to any compost, we're going to have a look at um, growing some things, just um, growing them themselves on paper. Here we go. So what have I got here? It's the good old, I've got um, cress here. And uh, also some mustard, which is like cress, but it's it's got a it's a bit stronger growing and a bit taller and a bit more mustardy flavour. So cress, as you know, is quite peppery, perhaps if you've tasted it. But they're both very good for they grow very easily, so they give you quick results. Um, so that's nice um, if you want to do something quickly and see results. Um, and um, you can also cut them and eat them. Um, very tasty in an egg sandwich, egg and cress sandwich, something like that. Um, so that's a lovely thing. So what you can do, I have this um, first activity here. I've been growing them. I don't know if you can see this because it's got a wee bit cloudy, but I can just point this at the camera. You can see there that my cress seeds, you can see that, I think you can maybe see they've started to sprout. So they've started to sprout and they're going to grow their lovely green stalks and uh, leaves. And when they've grown up, um, you'll be able to cut them with scissors and, um, and eat them. But um, I just sowed those just two days ago. Um, so you can see how quickly that they're going to, they're shooting now and then they're going to start putting up their, um, their green stalks and that'll be tomorrow, they'll start doing that. So it's only a few days for something like this. Um, it's easy to grow. It's tasty, it's ideal uh, for growing on a windowsill. All the instructions you will find on the packet. So don't worry if you can't remember what I'm saying today. Just follow the instructions on the packet. Um, it's very easy to do. And um, they will be ready to eat within 10 days. So that's great. You can sow them one week. Keep, keep looking at them. Um, Make sure you keep them nice and damp in there. I've got a, a, just a square of kitchen paper. Um, I've got them in this bag, which has got, it's one of these bags that's got a seal at the top. And that's helpful because it helps keep the top of the bag rigid and open because that's what you want. This is steamed up a bit because it was a bit, was closed on the windowsill. But if you can just pop it open like that, um, you can grow press in a bag quite easily. This is a good activity if you're doing it with lots of people and they need to take it home with them because they can just take their closed bag home and then open it up, pop it and pop it on the windowsill like that. So of course, um, there's lots of varieties of different things you can do with this. Um, you've probably seen the one where you um, keep, your, keep your breakfast egg, grow, <laughs> paint on a funny face, make it an animal, you can, Use your imagination, pop the um, crest seeds in the top and then they'll sprout out like hair on the top there. So that's quite a fun thing to do um, with uh, children and young people. You can do that. Um, and then another version of it is, I've got this set up. This is something that I had bought um, a couple of years ago. Um, and it's just a little sort of cardboard box. You could make this yourself. Um, if you've got, if you want to do extension activities, you can um, get people to paint paint a background, and then you're going to sow your sow your seed here, and then you can put some figures in the foreground, and this one's a forest for these lovely dinosaurs. So when that grows up, we're going to have a nice crest forest for the dinosaurs to roam in. Quite like that idea. It's quite nice, isn't it? So um, that's one uh, another nice one for children. You could put in, you could pop in some uh, dinosaur figures in there. Okay, just to make it more realistic. So that's great. Might encourage them to eat eat some nice green things. You do that. So that's mustard and cress. Both very easy to grow tendies from start to finish. Now, another set of things here. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever tried sprouting seeds on your windowsill to grow. You see them, you see them, and um, this is some I'm sprouting just now for uh, to put in a stir fry. Um, so you see them um, in the supermarket when they've sprouted and you bought them in your stir fry mix. Um, so this is what I'm doing. These are um, actually mung beans and you can 
find these in the um, garden center um, to, to buy. So I've got mung beans here and I've also got sunflower seeds as well there for sprouting too. You can sprout those and they give you lots of lovely nutritious nutritious little sprouts. Um, so you can buy those in the in the garden centre. But I've also got um, a selection here um, by a company called Vogels and they sell their produce through health food shops. Um, so this it comes there's a packet of there's a pack you can buy and it has um different types of um things you can sprout. Uh, that's broccoli. Um this is alfalfa. What else have we got? Red clover. So they're all very nutritious things that you can sprout on the windowsill to eat. And uh, it comes with this little booklet which has got lots of uh, information about it and uh, some lovely ideas. Um that you can enjoy your sprouts when you've sprouted them. So it's quite a good um, little pack, you can buy those. But basically, the um, how to sprout seeds, you need a jar, you can use an old coffee jar, something like that. Um, you want a lid with, you can either use the original lid with holes pierced in it, because you want the air to be able to get into it and uh, in and out, you want it to be able to breathe. Um, but I've just got a bit of muslin over the top of this um, jar and it's held on with an elastic band. And basically, most um, sprouting seeds are the same. You have to soak them for um, an amount of time. Uh, these ones, you soak them overnight. Uh, this is the mung beans. And you soak them overnight and then you tip the water out in the morning, give them a rinse with some more cold water, tip that water out, keep the seeds in, and then um, they start to sprout. So I think you can see, if you can see, these ones have already started sprouting. We can get them close enough to the camera. Oh, there's a camera that way. Um, so if you can see these little tiny white shoots, and when you see them sprouting, then you can eat them. So the thing is to do is to kind of test one to see if it's tasty. I'll give it a wee. Mm -hmm. pick, a, pick one that's sprouted. That's quite nice. And um, Basically, they're ready to eat once they've sprouted. So you can mix them in with, as I say, stir fries, salads, anything like that. These ones I started off on, um, when did I start with it? Night before last. So they were overnight and then they sprouted, yes, uh, they were sprouting yesterday and this is them ready to eat today. So they're even faster, even faster than your cress and um, your mustard, if you want some nice results and something that you can eat. So you can store these um, once they've sprouted, you can pop them in the fridge um, and keep them. Um, just make sure that uh, they're tasting okay. If they get too, if the sprouts get too long on them, sometimes they get, they don't taste as good. So keep, pick them when they're young, that's what to do. So that's something you can do without um, having to use any compost at all on your windowsill. And um, it's a bit, as I say, it gives you quick results if you're looking for something um, to give you an immediate hit. Okay.